are ready from the smallest to the largest between you and the joule and the calorie. Um, we know this information. One calorie equals three point eight six. 3.968 times 10 to the power negative 3 BTU equals 4.1868 Joule. We can conclude from this how many calories in a joule and how many calories in, BT in a BTU. So one BTU equals one over three point nine six eight times ten to the power negative three, which is equal to approximately two hundred and fifty-two calories. Also, in the same way, we calculate how many calories in a joule. One joule equals one over four point one eight six eight, which is equal to approximately zero point two three eight calories. So now we have how many calories in a BTU and how many calories in a joule. 1 BTU equals 252 calories, and 1 Joule equals 0.238 calories, and 1 calorie equals simply 1 calorie. So that means the smallest one of them is the Joule, uh, after this is the calorie, after this is, uh, after this is the BTU. Okay, so the answer is B. Of the following system which contain the most heat, before reading the choices, systems don't contain heat, so the answer is D. Uh, systems only contain internal energy. This is a misconception, misconception for some people. Question number three. Heat flow occurs between two bodies in thermal contact when they differ in what property? Actually, we know that, that uh, the heat uh, flow from the body has high temperature to the body has low temperature. Uh, so it, it depends on the temperature. So the answer is D. Question number four. Colors of food type are equal to uh, which of the following? Colors uh, of the food of type with capital C. Uh, ca uh, calories with capital C equals 1000 calories with small c. And calories of food type, when he said food type, he mean calories with capital C. Um, so the answer is B. 4186. The following two questions in uh, about the scientist Joule. The, times, the scientist Joule who discovered these two things and make this experiment. If you want to know more about it, you can read the chapter, chapter 11, uh, or you can make a search. If heat is flowing from a table to a block of ice moving across the table, which of the following must be true? Uh, the heat flow from a table to a block. As I just said, the heat flow from the body has high temperature to the body has low temperature. That means the table has high temperature than the, the ice. That means the ice has low temperature than the table. That means the ice is cooler than the table and the answer is B. How many calories equal to 1 BTU? Actually, we just calculated, but let's use this given to calculate it. We will divide the number of joules in a BTU over the number of joules in, of joules in 1 calorie. 1,054 um, joules over 4.186 joule equals approximately 252 calories. So the answer is C. Question number nine, which of the following statements uh, is true? Uh, a hot object contains a lot of heat, a cold object contains only a little heat, Objects don't contain heat. Actually, I just said objects and system don't contain heat. So the answer is C. They all only contain internal energy. Question number 10. Very easy question. We will just substitute in this rule. The specific heat capacity uh, of aluminium 
900 times the mass of the aluminium, which is 10 kilograms, times the, times the change in temperature, which is 5 uh, degrees Celsius. All of this equals to 4.5 times 10 to the power 4. 4.5. To the power four joules. Okay, this question. Sea breezes that occur near the shore are attributed to a difference between a land and water with respect to what property? The land here is only um, sand, so the water has high specific capacity than the sand has. That means the water can absorb more. Uh, heat than the land than the sand can. Then that means the sand will be uh, if the water and the sand are exposed to to the same um, heat which is come from the sun, the land will be hotter than the water. That means the air above the land has um, a high temperature than um, the air above the water. That means. The air above the water is denser than the air above the land. That means the air above the water will push the air above the land. And this circle continue and continue. This causes the, the, the sea breezes. So this depends on the specific heat capacity. The specific heat, I'm sorry, uh, of, the, of the sand and water. As the water has a high specific heat and the land has low specific heat. If you don't understand this, you can read the chapter, chapter 11, section 2. Uh, this point is very clear in the chapter. Question number 12. On a sunny day at the beach, the region of the sand gets so hot. Yes, the, the, the same reason of the previous one, because the water has a high specific heat and the land or the sand has low specific heat. So that it depends on the specific heat and the answer is B. Question number 13. We have an object which is its mass is 500 uh, kilograms. This object uh, is connected to a row, uh, is connected to a poly by a row. This system is in a tank which is contained 25 kilograms of water. He asks you about what is the, temp the temperature change in the water when the object falls into the water. And he said that uh, the object falls at a vertical distance of 100 meter at constant speed. Okay. Does mean uh, the, ki uh, the kinetic energy of this object will be zero because it is a uh, uh, move with constant speed the change in the change uh, or delta kinetic energy or the change in the kinetic energy will be equal to zero let us write it half delta half mv squared of the change in plus the change the potential energy plus u equals zero that uh, the kinetic energy is simply half mv square uh, to the to, to, to the first position minus half mv to the second position. It depends on the mass and the velocity. Let's see here. The mass is constant. The only change in the velocity. He said it was constant speed, so the speed doesn't change. So the, the first value will be equal to the second value. So the change in kinetic energy will be zero. So we will consider it. So now we have the potential energy equals negative u. 
over plus u or let me equals uh, negative u okay the potential uh, the change in potential energy um, how, uh, the, the potential energy equals mgh of the mgh of the object equals negative m of the water the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water okay times the change in temperature This means the change in temperature equals mgh m. Let me write, uh, I can't write it in the board, but it's m for uh, the objects over m of the, uh, of the water and the specific heat of the water equals m of the objects is 500 kilograms times the acceleration to the gravity 9.8 times h the height here he give us 100 all of this over the mass of the water 25 times the specific capacity of water which is 4186 all of this equal to equals to approximately 4.7 degree celsius So the answer is C. Question number 14. Very easy question also. We will use the same rule. Q equals uh, M uh, times the specific capacity times delta T. M here he give us the mass is uh, 300 grams which is 0 0.3 let me write it 3 over 100 uh, 1000 to convert it uh, from grams to kilograms times the specific capacity of the water which is 4186 times the change in temperature or delta T which is 85 95 minus 20 all of this approximately uh, equal to 94,000 joule Question number 15. The only idea just he asked about uh, the power, not the, not the energy or the work. So, first let's start with calculating the energy, uh, the energy, absorb it or transfer. Q equals M, the specific time to specific heat capacity, times the change in temperature. The, the, um, the mass here is uh, 300 grams, to, so you will convert it from grams to kilogram. 300 over 1000 times specific heat capacity, which is 4186 4, times the change in temperature, which is the, the, the same numbers of the previous one, uh, 95 minus 20. Okay, and the same answer 
84,195. Yes, here we have the energy. He wanted to know the power. How we know, uh, he wants to know the power. He mentioned the question, he wants to know the power. Power is equal to the work over the time. We have the work here in joules. At the time, he gave us is 10 minutes. Power equals work over time. Work here is this number. Over the time, the time here is 10 minutes. 10 minutes, which is simply uh, 6,000 seconds. We have to convert it for, uh, to the SI unit. 4 minutes times uh, 60, 60, uh, 60 seconds so the answer will be approximately um, 156 56.8.9 I'm sorry which is approximately equal to 160 watts